Hello everyone, welcome to the GOA Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics of geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, the GOA Ecologist. If you are new to this channel, for the earlier videos, you can check our playlist section and also for our paid courses, you can go to our website, thegeoecologist.com or you can download our app, The Geo Ecologist, from the Play Store and check for all the online courses which we offer. Now, in today's session in political geography, we are going to learn about the concepts related to electoral geography where we'll be talking about the geography of voting. So in this concept, we'll be learning about those influences that help us to decide whom to vote. So what are those factors, what are those attributes that control or that influence the voting pattern is what we are going to learn in this lecture. So before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also please share the videos with others as well. So now let's discuss this concept of the geography of voting or we say geographic influences on voting pattern. So if you observe this particular diagram here, it says there is a relationship between geography, elections and power and then we have a combination of pattern of power, spatial distribution. So there is a linkage between these. So if you observe election is a democratic procedure and it is also temporal. So if you observe at the end of period, midterm or premature, we have different kinds of elections across the world. So it also has a spatial component to it which we talk about in spatial analysis or also in electoral geography. So local, regional, national at any scale we can talk about it and the processes involved in this democratic society. So if you observe further that in this democratic process what happens usually people who are candidates for government responsibilities introduce themselves to their voters, right? So what happens? They introduce themselves, their programs, their propaganda, their approach, and also they utilize the financial, technological, cultural characteristics of the community for their purpose. So now this is where we say that there are certain influences on voting pattern because of this particular nature of our elections. So what you observe here, the people who are the voters throw their ballots to ballots based on the type of program, manners and tendency of volunteers and their needs. And also democracy is highly correlated with political organization of space. That's why we have something called electoral geography in the picture. So if you observe here, geography of voting that we say especially part of electoral geography was the first and foremost theme in earlier stages of development of electoral geography. Especially this kind of studies picked up largely in 1970s across the world with the development of human geography, political geography in modern state. So this theme is mainly associated with the explanation of voting patterns and its attributes. What are the geographic influences? So it involves the comparison of voting patterns with the patterns of large number of independent variables. And these independent variables exert influence on our voting behavior. How do we decide to vote? So if you observe, you have certain points here mentioned according to this political geography subdiscipline introduced by Andrew Siegfried in 1913 itself. So it has five major areas of study. So look at these points. Spatial organization of voting patterns as maps with reference to constituency level and other hierarchical orders like state and village. That is the first major sub theme. Then if you observe spatial variations in voting pattern and their relationships with population, social classes, etc. Then you have influence of environment and spatial factors on voting and also spatial patterns of representation which results into translation of voting into the seats finally. And then the fifth important is spatial variations in power and policy implementation which reflect the patterns of these representations. So these five major themes introduced by Andrew Sig Fried is what we are going to learn here and if you observe another scholar called Edward Krebe in 1916 who for the first time highlighted the association found between spatial variation in voting and spatial variation in environmental influences means there is a relationship between environmental influences and the voting pattern and we also understand it through aerial differentiation phenomena that we learn during 1930s through the works of Richard Hartshorn who was also a political geographer so this paradigm in context of geographical study of voting is very important to understand so now if you 
observe what are those influences. So geographical influences of voting you can talk about in various aspects. For example, the influence of distance and locality on voting pattern is the major area of concern for studying elections across the world. So if you observe these are the major geographic influences on voting and there are also numerous other influences or we say determinants or we also say factors that influence voting patterns. So if you want to observe some of them, let's understand. So the first kind of analysis we can do is friends and neighborhood effect analysis. This is also called home candidate analysis, the first influence. So who is this friend? Who is your neighbor? And how do you understand it through? So the friends and neighborhood model gives you an idea that voting for a candidate in his or her home area. So if you are a candidate, and this is your locality. So you influence people of your own locale. So this involves candidates supposed knowledge of the area, also their constituents, special knowledge of the candidate and also it is evident in multi-member constituency especially. So this process is also called localism. So what is this localism? Because a local candidate is aware about the community, their behavior, their voting patterns, their ideas, their beliefs. And that is where we say that localism factor plays an important role here. So we say neighborhood approach, neighborhood effect of friends approach. So remember these ISO voting lines are also constructed across the map sometimes that which areas are under your control or who are the voters who are going to definitely vote for you? Who are your friends? Who are your neighbors? Right. So this is area demarcating the similar percentage of voting for a candidate or party. This is called ISO voting lines. And also, if you remember, there is a gravity and distance decay analysis, which was added later during quantitative revolution. So distance decay mechanism whereby voter percentage decreases from local area of the candidate. So as you go away from the local area, you can see that in the peripheral area, this local candidate will not get as many votes as it would get from its own locality. So this is localism phenomena. Further, if you observe, the major reason for change is the revamped attention to the region, new policies, chances of prominence in developmental work, which influences this localism. So in India, if you see in the earliest realignment, especially in contrast to the stability, we can take an example of 1967, when the various states voted for non-Congress governments. And there was a major shift in voting pattern, if you observe, from the traditional Congress votes of rural areas to state parties to the local candidates who were favored more in that election. So localism effect is still playing a vital role as in geographic influence, right? Then if you observe, this is second effect called neighborhood effect. So how do you influence people, your friends by conversation? When in a locality, people talk about the potential candidate, whom are they going to vote? What are their features? Whom they should vote? So this is very important. So if you observe the partisan nature of person's home district influences his or her voting decisions. So it influences voter segregation beyond socio-economic segregation. Now there is a favoritism involved here. Just by conversation, you make your mind that you are going to vote for a certain candidate. So if you observe what happens here, the core of the argument is that social networks play a vital role. That's why we say that social networks have a great role in influencing the voting patterns, which are spatially clustered across households, neighborhoods. So this is also called conversion by conversation. So you can convert convert vote by conversation and that's how political parties function. Their members go to the different localities. They keep talking about their candidates, their features and what potential benefits that would come to this area if that particular candidate is selected. So this is very important in terms of acquaintance circle process. This is how this patterns shift has been looked into as a influences on voting pattern. Then if you observe this is called relocation effect or migration effect. Now if you observe across India or a world, migration patterns are playing a very important role. We can say pivotal role to the elections in modern day as well. You can see the elections in England, you can see the elections in America, you can see elections in India as well. So interstate or intrastate migration patterns are very much great influencers if you observe. So mainly migration effect leads to change in voter habits. For example, the same voter who used to stay at local position in say position A used to vote for a particular party may change its pattern when they go to location B under the local influences there. So voting habits of constituencies of North Bihar is aligned towards say Janata Dal party. 
right but when these people migrate to maharashtra they prefer to support congress or nationalist congress party over shiv sena and bjp this has been observed many times so there is a considerable shift because of relocation and the local factors of the destination so at source the voters used to vote for a different party at the destination their voting patterns changed this is called relocation effect then further if you observe the influence of weather or you can say the influence of local weather conditions sometimes so if you observe in this particular picture as well that if it is a heavy rainy day it will considerably change the footfall right so weather conditions act as short phenomena but definitely an influencer phenomena because they talk about the percentage of voting happening in an area also sometimes the terrain and the local conditions and transport conditions are very important but with time it has evolved so weather conditions still play a role many times if you observe around us so there was a study conducted in journal of politics mapped over voter turnout between 1987 and 2007 across 3000 countries that correlated with 22000 weather stations and what you observe is that with every 1 inch increase in rainfall you had decrease in 1% of the voter so this is the influence that you observe here the climatic influence on in voting and also rural urban distribution so what is this rural urban divide in a country will also matter why it will matter because if you observe the rural and urban voting patterns they have different agendas they had different ways of looking into the same candidate so in rural areas if you observe it may be influenced by local factors it may be influenced by community factors while in urban areas the factors are developmental or there are some local other factors so this can be understood in these points so female in urban areas participate in elections more but in rural areas they are more confined to the household activities and many times they do not participate although governments and associated election campaigns you'll observe that people are trying to bring in women to mainstream voting and also influence the voting but still it is to be done and it is influencing then if you observe the participation in urban areas is relatively higher in elections while in rural area because of disconnect or also because of local condition because of the gender divide and several other factors there could be a result which is related to literacy rate as well awareness as well so if you observe there is a considerable shift so you'll observe that rural votes are mainly confined to a particular candidate or a particular party but this is not so in urban areas the urban areas high prevalence of acquaintance circle process you'll observe is not there as in rural areas in urban areas it's more about the issues that dominate nowadays and also if you observe in rural areas the caste based voting maybe or voting on the religion pattern or in the community basis is more while in urban areas voting patterns are issue based so we say cartel based or class based that dominates in urban areas and also if you observe urban areas are due to large population density have higher influence and display distance decay mechanism as well so as you go away from urban areas to rural areas the amount of voting percentage also the way people vote changes that's why we say rural urban distributions also matter as a factor or we say geographical factor influencing the voting patterns so now when we have discussed the various aspects of geographic influences on voting pattern in the sessions to come we'll be talking more on other aspects of political geography so stay tuned stay safe keep watching and learning and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please share the videos with others as well